Hi, I'm Dave Meister. Um, today I'm going to show you how to bleed a ABS system on a B5 Passat, uh, specifically this uh, 1999 uh, Passat. We just did the ABS controller on it and um, we're going to be bleeding the uh, pump um, and the ABS controller. Uh, on this job, you're going to need to have a VAGCOM or a VCDS system. Um, and you're gonna to have to have a couple special tools. Um, you don't need the tools, but um, it's easier. Uh, you can do it with two people. I'm gonna be doing it by myself and I have the tools to do that. So um, this is how it works. So here is the engine compartment of this B5 Passat. Um, the ABS controller was replaced yesterday and today we are going to be bleeding the system. Uh, what you have to do is run the ABS pump to get all the air out of this system and when doing so it'll pump the air through the brake lines and um, out the, uh, the bleeders for the, uh, for the front brakes. The special tool that I have for this system is a MightyVac um, vacuum sucker system. Um, it's made by MightyVac and what I've done is I've gone ahead and connected it to a T fitting and each one of these brake lines is, or I'm sorry, the drain lines are connected to each one of the, the calipers up front with the bleed nipples open. And it comes down to there and it creates a vacuum and it sucks the brake fluid out. Another special tool that I have is a uh, brake pedal pressing tool. Uh, I use the one that comes off of our Hunter alignment rack and basically all this does is push the pedal all the way to the floor, uh, creating pressure on the master cylinder so when you do uh, cycle the ABS pump, it will pump just the fluid through the, the controller and, and through the front brake lines and not through the master cylinder. Uh, the other last thing I have is a VCDS VAGCOM and I will show you how this works in a second here. So I have turned the car on, uh, I've connected the VCDS VAGCOM to the car and what we're going to do here is we're going to come into the ABS controller 03. And we're going to connect to that module. And you can hear the beeping, that means that it's connecting to the ABS module. And what we're going to do is output tests. Some cars you go to basic settings and do it through there, but on this model you do it through output tests. Um, if you do have a car that is basic settings, you want to go to group 001 and hit go. Um, this one is actually a little bit easier. You just hit output tests and then when I'm ready to start I hit start but first I want to put the vacuum line on so it starts sucking as soon as I hit go. So I've turned the vacuum um, system on. You can already see that it's starting to Yeah, you can see right there, it's already stuck the fluid and it's not even on yet, but once I turn this on, it'll start cleaning back in. And then now what I want to do is come over here and hit start. The system's starting to flash. And if you come over here, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but the pump is running. And you can actually see the fluid coming through.
One other thing I wanted to mention, you want to top off your brake fluid reservoir before doing this. I filled this all the way up to about here before doing it. So you can kind of see it's going down already quite a bit. Now the pump at this point has turned off. Um, all I have to do now is close the bleeder valve and the front uh, ABS system has been bled. The only thing left to do now would be to do the rear brakes and the entire system is bled. So the last thing we want to do is uh, remove the brake pedal and uh, we want to bleed the rear brakes. So the last thing we want to do is remove the brake pedal and if you're doing it by uh, with, with a friend or someone else, um, you're going to just want them to get out of the car and uh, finish the brake job um, normally. Uh, if, you, if you are using a, a second person, you're going to want them to pump the brakes just like a normal job. So I just finished uh, bleeding the rear brakes on it, uh, took the uh, VADCOM off, uh, pumped the brakes a couple times, turned it on, and nice and um, hard brake. Uh, everything looks like it's been uh, been taken care of with the brake um, fluid and getting all the air out of it. I'm gonna go take it for a drive right now, uh, just test out the brakes, make sure the ABS is kicking on. And um, other than that, it's a pretty straightforward job. <clears throat> like I said, if you don't have that, those special tools and you have a second person, um, you can always just have someone sit in the driver's seat and push the brake pedal down uh, while you're doing the ABS um, functions and you don't have to have the sucker either you can just use two um, bottles with some clear plastic tubing and um, when you right before you hit the uh, abs pump you want to um, make sure you have all that stuff hooked up and you hit the 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 button to uh, cycle the pump and then that's when you want to open up both of those valves um, you don't want any brake you don't want any air to get into the brake lines and um, the having the pressure behind those lines is what you want before you open it up uh, with my system i can open them up because i do have vacuum pulling and it's not going to allow any air to go back up the lines so um, it can easily be done uh, in your home home shop um, if you don't know how to do it you can always bring it down here to meisterworks and we'll take care of it for you uh, doing an abs pump and bleeding all the lines takes about two and a half to three hours um, it, it may look easy, but we do have to hook everything up and there is quite a bit of other things that you have to do as well. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Uh, our number is 425-254-0627 uh, or you can hit us up online at meister.us.com or email at meister at meister.us.com. We'll see you later.